So we all love CSS Battle, right? So here I'm just kind of going to try to explain uh, how I implemented CSS entities in this uh, challenge. So basically I learned from one of the top solutions for the owl that you can use CSS entities, add them to the HTML and then style them. So here we style them along five with a font size in to make it that big. And then we would also add colors on line eight. And then you can see on line 9 that we are using margins. So you're using margins to position the item on the screen. When negative just takes it to the... Uh, negative is for the height. So margins, the height comes first and then the right... Um, or like top margin and then right margin. So that's one cheat that I picked out from, uh, from the top solution. So I've also added a leg, um, the leg item. And normally I like to uh, give my elements borders and then I just try to place them at their right positioning. Uh, this is a little easy if like you're using maybe flex or just uh, fixed positioning and normal left and top positioning. But here I'm using margins which is my first time of positioning I item with margins and it was quite interesting and a little hard. So you can see I went back to CW3 schools. I wanted to pick up a, another item to use as the leg, um, but I really didn't go ahead with that plan. So I just kept on making the leg and then I also added a cut item. And the cut is going to be for the um, colored portion of the circle that sits inside um, the leg at the top right corner. So you're just going to go ahead with that code and see how it turns out. So one thing I learned about this, or working with this margin um, stuff is that it's a little difficult to work with. And you can also see on line 34 that I used padding, but um, padding just gives it size, so it's like using um, or inline styling, where um, I think that's how it's done for buttons or so. Uh, but after doing this, I decided to like try a second approach, so. After a little while, you see me clean up all the code and just start um, start from scratch all over again. But here, I was just trying to figure out why I couldn't get it to 100% match. You know, I, I really couldn't figure it out. Like, I tried a lot of stuff, um, but it just didn't work out. So, that's mainly one reason why I took out the entire code. Not sure when the code is about to switch out, but let's see. I think I finally get it here, so after that, I think the next thing to do is to minify the code. So I normally put the code, I first take out like the long names, then I go to HTML compress, get a minified version, and then paste it in, and then see what I get. So I think that minified version was 224 characters. So after doing that, I just basically go ahead to clear out the code and then re- um, try a different approach or try to see if I could get it in a cleaner um, setup. So I think in this approach I basically use instead of using a cut out 
um, which was basically to not sure what I did with the candle from the first one, but here the approach is to use like two circles and no HTML entities or no CSS entities. So I am just using two circles. One will be colored um, with a light, lighter form of the blue bluish color and the other one is the more bluish color so we're gonna have the leg we're gonna have the real blue and then we're gonna have the light blue well, I think that was a quick approach then the last step was to basically use like the, the normal positioning that I like to use um, just normal height and top height width top left uh, to position all the items and here so one thing I didn't mention is that all the items are actually I nested them uh, so I nested them so that I could take out their ending tags and that way I'll be using the browser resilience to basically the browser resiliency would take care of like ensuring that the code works so that is one of the tips from the CSS battles I think when you go to reading the tips, or is it in a FAQ section? I think so, it's uh, one of those locations. So you can see that here, this approach was pretty quick, pretty fast. And then to now just uh, compress it. There we go. Thanks for staying along.